You know what's the best part about owning your own custom truck shop? Is you have access to every single vehicle there. That's just what I did. I grabbed one of the trucks from the shop and went to go pick up my Audi R8. I was in the shop getting a new wrap. Anyways, it's another day, another dollar back out here at Elevated AF. And oh boy, do we have a busy week ahead of us. So a couple weeks ago, I went and ordered myself three brand new 2023 Ford F-350s. This one's a Limited, this one's an XLT, and this one's a Lariat. Now, one of these trucks is already spoken for. We're doing a service bed style setup. These other two, I'm not entirely sure what we're doing yet. I'm guessing they're going to be some sort of flatbed builds because we did not order them with beds. Or the pesky little uh, blue cap which is nice. At any rate, I have a small problem. Uh, I can't unfold these ramps because we decided we wanted to put three Super Duties on one trailer. So I got to get the forklift. We got to lift this thing up and then I can hopefully unfold the ramp. Now having three brand new Super Duties is great and all, but there's a catch to all this. There is a very major, oh boy, I can't lift this thing up. <laughs> it's, it's giving me some trouble. Okay, we should be good. Anyways, we have a major truck show coming up here in a week. A week from today, we have to attend this massive truck show. Oh, oh, okay. Well, forklift's good back there. Anyways, we have to attend this massive truck show, and I have to get all three of these Super Duties built by the end of the week here, which is no easy task. But luckily, I have a fairly big team in the shop that should be able to help me out with that. On top of that, I'm pretty sure I'll pick up another project along the way. Anyways, last week, I sold my last 2023 Ford, and I absolutely loved that truck. Had a guy randomly ask me out of the blue if I had any 2023s, and that was my last one that I had left. If I can open this door, that'd be great. Anyways, last one that I had left, I really loved it, and I hated to sell it, but money's money at the end of the day. So I'm thinking this one is going to be another shop truck because I've recently just put one of our tow rigs up for sale, and the tow rig I'm talking about would be this Chevy Kodiak. I absolutely love this thing. It is just not practical for me to have as a uh, tow rig for around the shop. It's big. It's wide, like really wide. And yeah, I, I just don't need that. We don't go terribly far to pick up trucks locally. And if we do want to go far, I just send my hotshot driver out for that. So for that very reason, we're getting rid of it. These are stock Ford wheels. Ford's actually coming out with some pretty cool stock wheels. I actually do not mind these. I think they're stock wheels. I mean, it came from factory like this, so they should be. The wheels on this truck, these are not stock. For some reason or another, this truck has Alcoas on it from factory. Not sure what's up with that, but these are coming off. Now, this is supposed to be a work slash service truck, uh, and it's a limited. Probably going to be one of the nicest work trucks ever. And up on the lift, you go. So those of you who have watched Elevated AF for a while now, you'll know that I absolutely love lifted trucks. However, I also have an extreme love for Audi R8s, and this just happens to be one. I also just got it rewrapped, and it looks pretty sick. Also put some new wheels on there. Not to mention, it's on air. Man, gotta love this burnt orange color. It's a shame I hardly drive this thing, though. So in preparations for this week's builds, I have got to pick up a bunch of parts. Now, I was gonna take the Kenworth, but uh, we're not going too far here, so... I think we're just going to grab a gooseneck trailer. Okay, and since this is the only available truck with a gooseneck, this is what we're taking. Listen to that startup sound. One of the coolest thing is a little miniature second gen Dodge. I couldn't find a dually though. Really sad about that. Oh, this thing is so obnoxious and I love it. Okay, I guess I could have took the hotshot truck, but that's just no fun. We're taking the second gen dually. I can back up to this trailer and got it. Well, let's go pick up some parts. Ooh, I love the smell of fresh powder coat in the morning. Two brand new CM beds along with matching diesel tanks with toolboxes. That's a lot of money right there. So these new parts are, of course, for the two 2023 Fords sitting in the uh, shop here. The crew cab, it has a service bed on the way. That's coming from a separate company. Luckily, my shop is just down the road from CM, so it's pretty sweet. But man, look at these. Powder coated to match, too. It don't get much better than that. This one's the single wheel bed, and this one's the dually bed. I personally like the dually bed better. Even got all these sweet little toolboxes on the side. Although they both got this pesky blue cap. We don't even have that on those trucks. We're not going to go unload them now because uh, the guys still have a ton of work to do on those trucks before we even think about putting the beds on. All right, so it is the next day here, and I'm just fixing to hop in the blue truck, the blue Dodge, I guess, and we're going to go head out and pick up something. Something that I've had on order for uh, quite a while. So it should be pretty cool. Hope it's worth the wait. Well, I'm just headed back from the dealership, and what I got in this trailer is worth just about as much as a new truck. Well, probably not at like a 2023 Super Duty. Pretty far off from that, but at least a solid new F-150. 
but it's not a truck. So I probably, well, most definitely overpaid, but check it out. It almost doesn't fit in the trailer. It's really dang close. Let me pull it out of here. So this is a brand new 2024 Can-Am X3. This thing is nuts. And so is the price. The price is also nuts, but still kind of cool. Now, this thing is supposed to have some of the craziest off-road capabilities out there, except you can probably already guess what in the heck I'm going to do with it, which is therefore going to take away all off-road capabilities. Well, maybe not all of them, but, but most of them. I got the parts in the back. I'm going to take it back there and get it, get it worked on. It'd be pretty cool. You know, if I buy something, I got to stick some boggers on it and some Liberty Forged wheels. <laughs> oh, this is so sick. So I did this to my last side-by-side, -side, my uh, 2022 X3, except I did it a lot bigger. Uh, this one, it doesn't have as big of wheels and tires just because of these new style arms. Can't really get around it. I think there's aftermarket things I can do to it now to get rid of those. But I essentially just took the, the $50,000 price tag and just, yeah, I'm going to throw some wide wheels on it. That's pretty much what I did. And a cab spin, of course. By the way, big shout out to Wheelman Fab for this. I'll have his Patreon link down in the description if you guys want to go check it out. I highly recommend it. There's some cool stuff on there. Oh man, there's like no more clearance left. There's nothing. It's literally like, oh, that's like half and quarter of an inch. Like it's nothing. It's almost touching. That is hilarious. Luckily, if the wheels move up, this moves up. So we should be okay in theory. But I will say it does look pretty sick. You know, I'm surprised I haven't stuck boggers on my Audi R8. Maybe that's what's next week. Well, it's been a couple days here. The guys have been hard at work. As you can see, two of the Super Duties have already changed. We're still waiting on parts for that crew cab, but uh, I think they should be showing up today. Anyways, we got to get these beds off of here along with the fuel tanks. We can get everything moving. Well, here's bed number one and fuel tank number one. I think we're just going to do one bed at a time here. We'll get to the red truck once we get there, I guess. Well, the hotshot driver is ready to go because we got a call and then a wire transfer for the money for the Kodiak here. So it is leaving the shop as much as I hate to see it go, but it was for sale for that very reason. So it is out of here. Was kind of hoping we'd have another truck to get out of here this week because I hate sending my hotshot driver with just one truck, but I might just get him to pick up something else on his way back. I mean, it's a couple day drive, so he won't be back here till Monday or something, but at least we sold another truck. That's what I'm happy about. So I was going to put this blue Dodge back in the showroom, but I am actually seriously loving this thing as a daily driver. It is really nice. But who knows? I might just keep it. Well, boys, it is the end of the week here. We actually have to leave for the truck show today, but the guys were just able to knock out the 2023s. Pretty much half a million dollars in trucks were built in one week, and they look absolutely baller the middle one here this is a truck we built for a uh construction company their mechanic there it's a limited it's crazy crazy nice it's got this awesome service bed on it loaded to the brim with everything you could ever need on it they also requested a bunch of chicken lights which uh of course we can't say no to that looks pretty dang good did some paint matching here and there actually got some real stock ford wheels put some uh nitto mud graps on there so it's extra chonky and get through the muddy construction sites yeah, just a really, really nice, clean service rig. Now, this one right here, this was the only uh, single wheel 350 of the week. Did it up nice with the paint match CM bed and the paint match toolbox, some TIS wheels, a little bit of a cradle going on there, some bags in the back. Super, super nice front bumper. I really like this front bumper design. Really just made it a clean, clean truck. And in this colorway, it just looks killer. Also, cow hood, because why not? Now, this one right here, this got me my favorite build of the week, and this is actually going to be one of the new shop trucks, our new tow rig. And I'm not selling this one this time. It's it's not getting sold right away. So again, cow hood, bunch of paint match, American Force wheels, nice CM bed, bags in the back so it can tow really well. Paint match slip tank with a... Uh, toolbox which uh is very handy also got the little boxes in the back and just a super super nice hauling bed and it just goes together way too well the only thing i might do is get a paint matched bumper this same bumper but paint matched for this truck i don't know let me know down in the comments whether i should or not but the owner should be here shortly to pick up this truck oh it's also got uh, a bunch of flashers on it construction site stuff but he should be here any minute now and i'm actually gonna go grab a gooseneck for this truck and we're gonna get loaded up to head out to the truck show here i gotta test if we're gonna have 
have enough room to fit everything I want to fit onto this trailer. And this is actually the only seriously lifted truck we have right now. This six door. And we didn't even fully build this. We did do a little tuning up on it though. Made it a little bit better in certain ways. I say I love this display. Hopefully we can squeak out of here. But yeah, I think we got to build another lift truck here sooner or later because I don't think the shop can go without one. Okay, I did some quick measurements here. I think we're going to have enough room. I hope at least. Oh, I don't know. This is going to be too close. Nope. We did it with inches to spare. Actually inches. Everything's tucked right up to the front here. This is as close as we can get without wrecking anything on the trip. Man, this is one heck of a setup. At any rate, I'm going to get going to the show. Hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.